So hi everyone, my name is Fiona Kelly, I'm LYIT's Marketing Manager and my job today is to talk to you about late applications and the CAO process. So in terms of yourselves, how many people here that are in this room, and I know we're going out live streaming, have made a CAO application? Okay, and then we have somebody maybe who hasn't made a CAO application. Hopefully this sets the scene when it comes to applying to the CAO. So late applications opened the 4th of March. Today's the 5th, so that was yesterday. Okay, and that would allow people who have not yet made a CAO application to apply. Now there are some restricted courses that you can't apply to. Okay, so say for instance you're a mature student and you're thinking about doing nursing, it's too late to get September 22 entry. And we get so many questions from people who are saying, oh gosh, I just decided I would go back to education. There's a mature student now, it's too late to go into nursing. So the late applications does have some restrictions and it's important to highlight that. It costs 60 euro and it's open until the 1st of May. For you people who have made an application, you then from the 5th of May can change your mind. All right, and the Irish system is very flexible like that. The Northern Ireland system isn't, but the Irish system allows you to move things around then because you might have gone to some open days and your decisions maybe from February might have changed between February, March and April or maybe your financial circumstances changed. You can then go in and do what's known as a change of mind application from the 5th of May until the 1st of July. So again, as I mentioned, nursing has restrictions and anybody who's applied to here and there, you had to have had your application in by the 1st of February. So the application is online, okay? You go to cao.ie, click apply, enter your personal details, your email address, qualifications and assessment. And what that means is, say you're doing a PLC, and maybe you did the leave insert last year. You pick those awards up. Or maybe you're a current leave insert student you put your leave insert number in. So you all have a leave insert number, that's what you do in terms of that application. You make your payment, you click on the terms and conditions, you create a password, and then you proceed with the application. There is nothing that you can do wrong on the CAO system, it is so straightforward. It's a step-by-step -step approach. Now one thing I do want to highlight, make sure you're using an email address that you check. So if your email address is homersimpson at yahoo.com and you never check that out, that's a bad decision, okay? You have to be able to see what the CAO is sending you because they're going to contact you via that email. So we find that lots of students use their mommies and daddies email address or they register with an email address that's active and live because that is the only way CAO is going to contact you. So it's really, really important that you're checking that email address. So if you leave with anything today after today's talk is that you do remember to have an active email address and to be looking at it. They send you what's known as a statement and it shows your choices. And loads of students get caught like this and we get loads of calls in August time of someone that would say, I thought I'd psychiatric nursing number one, but I didn't realize I put in the wrong code and it was general. You will not miss that if you check your statement. So even today, when you go back and maybe log in online, just check to see your preferences, check the codes, have a little look. It's important just to do a kind of spot check in terms of that. So you get to make choices on your CAO. Uh, for those who have made an application, you know you can make 10 level eight choices and 10 level six, seven choices. Number one is your top choice. So it's like the dream car. That's the one I want. Even if you can't afford it, it should be your number one, okay? So it's really important. Students really fixate with points. Put your dream course as your number one. I get bowled over every single year at the number of students who say, oh, I really wish I'd put physiotherapy down. Sure, I got more than what I expected. And maybe another course that maybe leads to physiotherapy. You can't get courses then if they're not in your preference. If it's higher up, then you still stand a chance of getting that course. So say if that dream course of physio was 475 last year and you put it to number one and then maybe you put sports and exercise with performance number two, you can still get that course, number one, if the points were to come down. So the higher up, the courses up above, your, they should be the top choices. Even if they are a wee bit out of your reach, have your dream courses as number one. So in terms of then um, the course choices, I've mentioned this, thousands of applicants forget to put their choices in. 
I am the parent of a Leave and Search student. And a Leave and Search student in my house on the 31st of January who had no choices in his application. And you'd think in my house that he would know what to be putting in in terms of his choices. But we like to leave things to the last minute. Three and a half thousand people at, by the very end of the CAO closing have not put in choices. And see, when it closes on the 1st of July, that's it. It's too late. So lots of people go on, put on their personal details. How many people here have made choices? Yeah, you have. Don't forget. <laughs> In terms of your choices, it's so important that you don't forget. And remember, dream course number one. In terms of then your choices, in terms of final amendment, you see they're the 5th to the 1st of July. If you made your application by the 1st of February, you can go in on the 5th of July or 5th of May and move things around. And as I mentioned to you, you might decide then, well, it's not construction management I want anymore, it's actually business. You can move things around then from the 5th of May to the 1st of July. So entry is a two-step process, and it's important that I highlight this. This is particularly important for the Lead and Search student who's sitting in the room right now. Students are obsessed with points, but it's not just about points. There's a thing called matriculation, and I'm going to simplify what matriculation is. Points is one part of the process. 400 points is needed for nursing. But then there's subjects you needed your leave insert for nursing. So if you're not doing biology, ag science, physics or chemistry, then you're not going to get into those courses. For instance, computer science at LYIT, you need to be doing computer science at leave insert. If you're looking at the area of design and creative media, art is needed at leave insert. That's matriculation. So subjects and points means places, okay? So it's a two-step process. And sometimes that gets lost in the school system in terms of it. This is the minimum, and I'm just going to put, it's very, very like, complicated looking, but I'm going to highlight just the top part of it. For a level, level eight course, you need to be doing at least six leave insert subjects. You need to get at least two H5s, and then four other subjects at 06 H7. That's a minimum. And then you've got to meet the points. All right, so that's for the level eight. But you see then for the level six, sevens, the minimum we need is five subjects at Leave and Cert. Grade 06 H7, so there's no at least two H5s, and then a minimum 160 points for um, the level seven course. That's really important to highlight that. I had one student who contacted me last year looking at dental nursing and had achieved 157 points. Hadn't the, the, t the total number of subjects, was taking the leave insert on a small basis, couldn't matriculate. So the option for that student was to do a PLC course. And then they would use their PLC results to get in. So what's great about LYIT, and even as we become Atlantic Technological University, you generally have a backup plan in both sections. So say for instance, you're thinking about design and creative media. We have a four year level eight in the level eight section. And then we have four level seven subjects over here. And the points and the entry requirements are lower for this section, but we're giving you two chances to get what you're looking for. So if you're sitting here today and you're thinking about the course you're interested in, check to see if there's a level six, seven option in it as well, and put it into your choices. Have a backup plan. More boys than girls do not have a backup plan. Okay, so make sure that six, seven option is as good as your level eight choice. So backup plans are important. So again, terms and conditions apply. If you're looking at, for instance, um, results, they take your six best results and it's in one sitting. So say you repeat the leave insert, you can't add last year's leave insert results with this year's leave insert results. It's important to highlight that. Um, in terms of then LCVP subjects, if anybody's doing LCVP, a distinction will get you 66 points, a merit will get you 46 points, and a pass will get you 28 points. So just know that when it comes to LCVP. Um, some courses at LYT don't require maths. Important to highlight law with criminal justice, law, culinary arts, hospitality and tourism, digital film and video, animation, fashion with promotion, graphic and digital design, and design common entry. Important to highlight this, you'll not do maths in these subjects. So we don't require maths for these subjects. So it's good to know that for anybody here who's a little bit maths averse. Um, I know it wouldn't be my strongest subject in terms of uh, the leaving cert. So just know that in terms of yourself, maths isn't required in certain subject areas. Courses that require a science, or a lab-based subject are nursing, psychiatric, general, intellectual disability nursing, veterinary nursing, dental nursing, pharmacy technician, and then our three health science programs, 
physiotherapy, occupational therapy and dietetics. So those programs all require a science-based subject. The three at the end is specifically biology. Okay, so if you're doing chemistry or physics, no. You can't get in, it has to be biology. And what we found actually at the very beginning of that course, a lot of students actually went back and did biology again, just so they could try to get into that course. Um, courses that require art and design are design common entry level eight, animation, fashion with promotion, and graphic and digital design. Digital film and video does not require um, uh, art at Leaving Cert. So in terms of your Leaving Cert uh, points, you can go to a points calculator. I don't know if any of you have done mocks recently. If you go onto the points calculator, you can put in your mocks results and you'll get an idea of your points in terms of the points cal calculator. But say if you're unsure, you can contact us. We'll give you an idea of where you're at in terms of your point scoring based on the subjects that you're doing and the level that you're doing it at. So contact ourselves here. Up here, I'm not going to get too detailed on this, but this is the Leaving Cert points table. Obviously, honour subjects have higher points awards than the ordinary level subjects, but you have an idea there of the points that are available for you. And then for Northern Ireland students, Northern Ireland students, because LYIT actually, along with Dundalk IT and Trinity in Dublin, gets the highest number of Northern Ireland students so in terms of where we're at we would get a lot of students from the west of Northern Ireland so we're talking Tyrone, Derry, Fermanagh coming across but they do a different system in the Leaving Cert and these are the scoring systems for those students because they're doing three subjects at A level so the points are awarded a little bit differently there but points anybody that's watching that's from Northern Ireland today make sure you do contact us and we'll be able to highlight that for you. If you're doing a PLC course or if you have done a PLC course, you can enter these results into the qualification and assessment section of your CAO application. One thing I have to highlight is, say you don't get nursing first time round and you decide to do a PLC, there is quotas in place, all right? So that means restricted places. And it's not LYIT's choice to have that in place, it's standard across Ireland three, sometimes four or five places are allocated then for the PLC student out of 32 places. And that's because we're restricted in the total number of places that we offer in terms of that course. So say for instance, veterinary nursing, we only have 32 places in LYIT and we offer three of those places for PLC students. So it's a lottery, okay? And it's random selection. Lots of students say, oh, I'm from Donegal. Would I not be able to get that veterinary nursing place? We have nothing to do with that. Your CAO number is randomly populated. So someone from Wexford could get that place for one of those three coveted places. That's the way the system goes, okay? So it's quota-based. So don't think that say the Leaving Cert doesn't go your way and you think, I'll do a PLC now in nursing studies and I'll get into nursing. It's not a guaranteed route, okay, because of the quotas. And it's important to highlight that. Mature students are students who are 23 on the 1st of January of entry. And if you're 23 on the 1st of January um, coming into LYIT, then you're classed as a mature student. And you're treated differently. A Leaving Cert isn't actually required in terms of the application. So it's not required. We don't want to know your Leaving Cert. We've taken life experience by the time you've reached the 1st of January. The Leaving Cert is not required. Um, so you have to, in terms of certain applications, I mentioned earlier, nursing, be in if, as a mature student by the 1st of February. But for anything else, it's okay. You can make your late applications. Offers go out, go out in round A. So before the Leaving Cert student, a mature student will know in July, early August, if you've got your place at LYIT. It's a little bit different. It's called round zero, round A, and you'll know um, in terms of your application whether you've got a place with us from July. And that's good for a mature student if you're thinking about the finances, if you're thinking about the cost of returning to education. Both of the lists are independent to each other, and I'm going back to the CAO courses. I always say it's like being invited to an 18th birthday party. There's the level eight list, and that's one friend, and there's a level six, seven list, and it's another friend's birthday party. The two parties are happening at the one time. The only thing you can't do is accept from both lists. So say you get two offers to these birthday parties from these lists, then you can only go to one. So when the offers come out in the door for your level six, seven, and your level eight, you can only accept one of them. 
It's really important to remember that you can fill out both lists, but you can only go to one party because they're clashing on the one night. So this is important to know that. You can't have two bets going on here. You take one offer. And lots of students say, well, I wouldn't mind doing the two-year course because I want to leave after two years. Or I'll do the three-year level seven because maybe I want to go to another college for fourth year. That's okay. And remember with ATU, you'll be able to transfer as well. So you'll be able to move within the college is much easier as we become Atlantic Technological University. Order preference is the key. What's your dream course? Remember I said to you about the dream car, the dream course? Number one's your dream, okay? And put it like that. Don't say to yourself, I'll never get that. Because it's been so surprising for people then and then annoying if you didn't put that dream course number one and then you lost the chance of getting it. Come on ahead in. Um, so in terms of the preference, the key rule is you'll be offered your highest preference course first if you have enough points and you've matriculated and you can move up the list but you can never go down and that's why the dream course is so important. So if physio is the dream, if general nursing is the dream and you put it to number one and then have your options then descending in terms of that so you can never ever go down the list. And what I would say to you is see high demand, high point courses? They never come up in vacant places. So you'll never see nursing, veterinary nursing, pharmacy technician up on our list of vacant places because those courses fill up generally in the first and second rounds of offers at LYIT. So key things again, change your mind, opens on the 5th of May, closes on the 1st of July. If you've made a CEO application, it's free. You can shuffle around your choices right the way up to the 1st of July. Add or remove courses as often as you like. But the 1st of July, 5.15, that's it. Okay. Key points to note, um, new mature applicants for nursing are not considered after the 1st of May. Check the course changes on the CAO website. LYIT has, I think, I believe, between seven and ten new courses coming on track this month. So that website, the CAO, will show you new courses and you'll be notified about new courses that we have coming up in terms of yourself. So there's a lot of new things coming up, including, I believe, cyber psychology and computing, a couple of different degree programs coming on track. Check your statement. I highlighted this. Make sure that email address is one you look at, not one that you've left aside and you used when you were 14 or 15. Important because it's the only way that the CAO are going to contact you. If you don't get an offer, this can happen. You don't get a level 6, 7 or a level 8. There's a thing called vacant places. There could be a reason why then you didn't get an offer because you didn't put in your leaving cert number. We were overwhelmed last year at the number of students who didn't put their Leaving Cert number in. And when we drilled down on that data, we were figuring it was because most Leaving Cert students were home learning in the area in the time of January, February, when they were making their CAO application and just forgot to put it in. But they will contact you, CAO, and they'll keep telling you there's a problem with your application. So it's important to pay attention to that when they're sending you those correspondence. You might have miscalculated your points, and you thought you did better than you actually did. You might not have enough points. Um, and it's important that if you don't get an offer for us and you think you should have got an offer, contact us. We will then guide you to get that Leaving Cert number in and we will work with you to get you that place in terms of your offer. And we do um, contact days at LYIT. So other than that, I think I've kind of covered uh, pretty much all bases in terms of the CAO. Um, if you do want to know more information, the person who should have been doing this talk today is Tracy Sheridan and Tracy has the lovely COVID so she is not with us today but she is so approachable and contactable and her name is tracy.sheridan at lyit.ie so if you think I could do with a wee bit more advice or information email tracy.sheridan at lyit.ie or you can phone her on 074 9186126 so it's tracy.sheridan and it's tracy without an e um, at lyit.ie. So that's us. Thanks so much for joining us and for those who are watching online, thanks so much for joining in.